This is crazy. We didn't have this many people when I played in the Super Bowl. And you know, I gotta tell you, finding a Viking purple sport coat is not easy. But I did it. And I hope you appreciate it. You know, the significance of me being here was that 50 years ago, I was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. I, I, know, I know what you're thinking. I look pretty good for my age. But, but it was nothing like this. I was in my little apartment in Ithaca, New York, at Cornell University. And Jim Finks, the general manager, called and told me, congratulations, son. You've been drafted by the Minnesota Vikings. And, and I gotta be honest, they weren't on the top of my list for teams I wanted to be drafted by. In fact, there was only one team that I wanted to be drafted by less. But I'm not gonna mention Green Bay. <laughs> I see those cheese heads over there. Anyway, it was a great experience. Got to play in two Super Bowls, and now, 50 years later, here I am in front of all you folks. This is really exciting for me. So, as a ex-former Minnesota Viking and former head coach at Blue Mountain State, Come on, we got to have some GOAT fans out there. Go GOATs, baby. Anyway, I can't okay, read the card. She wants me to read the card. All right. No! Anyway, with the 42nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select defensive back Andrew Booth from Clemson. He's a terrific player. Five interceptions, 68 tackles in three seasons at Clemson. Mel, I think almost all of us thought he would be long gone by now. Our draft predictor only had a 24% chance that he would still be available at this point in the draft. Yeah, I think the, the ball skills and the talent certainly Brady are evident with Andrew Booth Jr. They had the sports hernia injury, he should be fine coming off that. But you expected Andrew Booth Jr. this year to be the lockdown corner that Sauce Gardner was, that Derek Stingley was in 2019. And he certainly had.